Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Box and Reviews on How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to clone a drive from a large drive down to a smaller drive, obviously space permitting, with your Windows PC using the excellent Macrium free software. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to show you how to transfer your files from a larger drive. Now, in this particular instance, we're going from a Samsung SSD. This is the 980, one terabyte model. And I'm actually downgrading to a smaller drive, which is this one, an Intenso drive. Now, the reason behind this is because basically I've got a PC which doesn't have a lot of use and it doesn't necessarily need a nice, big, fast drive like this. It can quite easily manage with this. Now, normally, if you were in a similar situation, you would probably have to reinstall Windows and reset all your settings, do your drivers, Windows updates, all that kind of stuff. It's an absolute palaver, but you don't actually have to do that. You can do it very easily with a combination of Windows built-in tools and also the really excellent Macrium free software. Macrium Reflect Free is available for non-commercial use. Uh, I'll put some links in the video description for you if you want to check it out and obviously do the, the same things we're doing in the video. Very simple, very easy to do, comes highly recommended. I've been using it for a very long time and it works extremely well. Pretty much 100% of the time, there has been the odd occasion where things have not quite worked out, but I think that's more down to the drives rather than the software. Anyway, that's enough waffle, let's get on and actually do it. So the first thing we're gonna need is some way of actually connecting the drives up. Now luckily for us in this particular instance, even though my motherboard does have two M.2 slots, you may be using SATA drives or whatever, probably gonna need some form of docking station. Now for this video, we'll be using this one from Mavo. This was actually sent to us by Ugly Bob a little while back. It's actually been very useful and I'm going to show you how to use it again today, but obviously you can use any type of docking station or just use your motherboard's onboard ports. Do whatever works best for you. So we're going to head over to our desktop PC. So this is our kind of donor PC at the moment and we've got our drives connected. So if we go into disk management and there is actually a new disk which has been installed, which is the the smaller of the drives hasn't been initialized yet, so we might as well go ahead and initialize that right away. And I'll make this a little bit bigger, and you can see. So we've got three drives listed. Our main drive, disk zero. This is our Windows drive for the PC itself. Disk number one, which is our basic drive. This is the Samsung drive, the one we want to copy. And this one here, disk two, is our 500 gigabyte drive. 478.92 gigabytes to be absolutely precise after all said and done. So that is what we need to do. Now, obviously this is a larger drive. Now there isn't a great deal of data on it. And actually, if you look there at what is actually on it, it's barely used at all. We've got 870 gigabytes of free space. So in order to physically fit a D drive or this drive actually onto our other drive, we're gonna have to resize it slightly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this part of the drive. We're gonna right click and we're gonna choose shrink volume. So now it's gonna query the volume to see how much it can actually shrink based on the amount of free space on the drive. So now we could, if we want to, if we wanna shrink it completely, we could shrink it by that amount of data, which is probably a little bit too much. So let's go for a little bit more than that just to give it a bit of breathing room. And we'll call it 700,000. Click on shrink. So there we go. Now our drive that we wanna copy is just over 250 gigs. We've got 700 gigs roughly of unallocated space. So Macrium was actually gonna ignore that altogether. So now physically drive D here will fit onto this drive very easily. So we can close this down and fire up Macrium. If you've not already got Macrium installed, links will be in the description. You will need to register the software. You will have to get a email address as well to get a license code sent to you, all that kind of stuff. Once you've done that, you can download it and when the program is installed, very easy to use. So as you can see, very similar layout to what we've saw just now. So the options are, obviously this is the disc that we wanna do things with. So we just highlight this one. You can deselect your primary drive if you want to, to be on the safe side. So this is the drive we wanna do. So we choose clone this disc. And it's gonna ask where you wanna actually clone it to. So let's choose a drive and we'll choose that one there. And it says there are copy the selected partitions when I click next. And it's gonna say if you want to uh, run it again, otherwise you can just click next to skip. Obviously you're not gonna really wanna do it again, so just click next. It tells you exactly what it's gonna do. 
and then you can click on finish. Uh, so now what do you want to do? Run this back up now, uh, save the XML. You don't really want to save that. So just run this back up now, click on OK. And now it's basically doing the clone. So it's going to go through now, copying the data from one physical disk to another. Shouldn't take a great deal of time. Again, depending on your drives and the amount of data on there, it could take a little while. So we're going to fast forward through this and we'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so there we go. There is the clone completed in just under five minutes there. That's uh, pretty nippy. like that a lot. So you can click OK there. And that's all done. So we can click on close. And now we can come out of macro. We don't need that anymore. And as we can see, this is the new files which have been put onto our local disk E. So now we've got local disk D and local disk E, which are basically duplicates of each other. Now we could, if we want to now, just close this down, remove the M.2 drive and put it back into our system and carry on using it. But what I'm going to do is actually, whilst we're in this area or on this PC, we might as well expand the drive now. So if we go back into disk management and let's make that a little bit bigger. So as we can see on our new drive now, we've still got some unallocated space which we could use. Now, if you want to, you could create a new partition on there, should you wish to, or you can just expand the drive. So in order to do either of those, highlight the drive next to it, right click and we've got to choose extend volume obviously if you want to you can choose shrink volume and all those other things but we're going to do extend volume so we can get the full space of our drive again we get the wizard come up so click on next it will pretty much intelligently know what it can do and there we go it's just added the rest of the size to it so we've still got our recovery partition same as the initial drive and we've still got our data section which is here, and also the EFI system partition. So that is a ready to use bootable drive. So now we can close this down, turn off the computer, remove the drive and put it back into our PC. So there we go, pretty straightforward to do and actually didn't take a great deal of time. Obviously I am slightly blessed that we do have this really fast USB copy and also we've got some pretty decent drives here as well. So obviously your mileage may vary, but hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it's something that you're thinking of doing or maybe you've got a system which you're considering selling on or flipping and you don't necessarily want to give away one of your nicer drives and you'd rather put in something which is a little bit cheaper so you can possibly maximize your profits, then this is certainly a good way of doing it. And obviously if you do maximize your profits, do consider buying a Macrium license. It's actually worth it in the long run. Anyway, that's enough for now. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.